We were outside of Birkenhead, England. The ship is loaded with troops. We know they're going into the invasion. And you never see the sun in England. It's always muggy. Some buddies want to go swimming. I said, sure, I like to swim. I, I used to go, I don't care where I went, I used to go swimming. And it's up there over 90 feet deep, tall, way up on the bridge, you know. Tree guard. I'm the only guy that comes up with his bait suit. The other guys come up. I said, what are you waiting for? It was your idea. Well, the Tom, that's kind of high, you know, blah, blah. It was your idea. I got my bait suit on. I ain't going all the way down there. So I said, I'll try it. The highest I ever dove was 40 feet. Tower was in the fish break. I dive it every time I went down it. I got up on the railing. Now you got to watch out which way the ship is going. When the ship is going, you got a lot of water. But when it's going that way and you die, there ain't much water. So I'm up on the rail, and the guy said, what, what are you waiting for? I knew nothing about tide. The ship is pushing the ship this way, the tide. Then I dove way out. Like I said, between 80 and 90 feet. I know nothing about about the tide. So I start swimming underwater toward the top of the ship. I'm a good swimmer. You know? I poked my head up. I'm about 200 feet from the ship, and the tide is taking me the other way. What if they decided to turn the shrew? I won't be here to talk about it. That's what the officer said. Now we're going to swing at an angle to catch the ladder, which is 200 feet in the back of the ship. At an angle, I swim, I pull, and I, I swallow salt water, I spit it out, and I grab the ladder. Now I can't climb it. I'm exhausted. I'm, I, I drink. The officer and a couple of guys come down. What's going on here? Well, Tommy went for a swim. He went for a swim with the, with the troops loaded on the ship. That's against the law. We're going to lock him up and throw the key away. He throws a, one of these circular things with a rope. I'm three quarters of the way is up. He tells the guy to take off. I'll take care of it. I'm hanging on like that. He lets the rope go. All the way down again, then I had to, exhausted, grabbed the ladder. I had swallowed some more salt water. I finally got to the ladder, I crept up there. And I was all scun all over, and he's pulling on the rope. He pulled me on the ground, he rolled me over, and I'm spitting salt water, spitting salt water. I said, that's a crazy thing to do. I says, why? Going for a swim with all, loaded with troops. That's dangerous. What if they turned the screw? You you wouldn't be here talking to me. Which is true, yeah. One day I was on an island. People are coming out of church. Natives, about 20 of them. I could see the cross. And I'm walking, standing there with my buddy, and there's a drunken sailor. Stopped the old man. He said, hey, old man, what religion ever do for you? The old man went like this. Two years ago, we would have ate you. They were cannibals before they became Christian. And that guy, boy, did he sober up fast. We would have ate you.